Before we begin, I want to give you some tips for analyzing and solving problems involving three circle Venn diagrams. So the first thing you want to do is start with the region where all circles overlap. Next, fill in the region where two circles overlap. Then you're going to focus on the only regions. And lastly, you will focus on the regions outside of all circles. An interview of 100 students showed that 31 took math, 42 took English, 28 took history, 6 took math and English, 9 took math and history, 10 took English and history, and four took all three subjects. So we're going to take all of this information and organize it in a three circle Venn diagram. So recall the first thing you should do is start with the region where uh, all three circles overlap. And if we look at the information we were given, there were four students who took all three subjects. So into that region, we will place a four. Now, Everything else that's inside of a circle is going to be affected by that because you already have four in all three circles. So the next step we want to do is focus on the two circle regions so where they overlap. So that would be math and English, also math and history. And then this region, which is English and history. So we'll start with math and English. Six students took math and English. So what we have to do uh, is to subtract the four that's already in there, that circle. Uh, so six take away four will give us two. So that means there are two students who took math and English. Next, we want to focus on the math and history. Uh, there were nine students who took that. So we're going to again subtract four because there's four already there. So nine take away four is going to give us five. So five took math and history. Next, we're going to focus on the English and history region, and we can see that 10 students took English and history. So once we take four from that 10 take away four, that's going to give us six people in that region. And now that we've done the two circle, now we're going to do the only areas. So we'll start with the top with math there were 31 students who took just math now there are already people inside the math circle so what we're going to have to do is uh, find out how many that is and subtract it from that number 31 so let's see we have 2 plus 4 which is 6 and 6 plus 5 is 11 so there are 11 people already in the math circle so we have to subtract that 11 from the 31 and that gives us 20 only for math we're going to do the same for the english only people so there were 42 that took english so of the 42 that took english uh, we have to see how many that are already in there to find out the uh, English only. So right now, uh, there's 2 plus 4, which is 6. 6 plus 6 is 12. So there are 12 in there already. So we're going to subtract 12 from 42, and that will give us the 30 only. OK, so those are 30 only student, uh, took English. So there were only 30 students that took English. All right, moving on to find out 
uh, the history only. Now there are already people inside the history, so let's count how many already are there. So we have 6 plus 4 is 10, plus 5 is 15, and there are 28 that took history. So we're going to subtract 15 from that 28, which will give us 13 that only, 13 that took history only. Okay, so remember, uh, these areas are what we call the only area. Uh, however, you would have to count all within the circle to find out how many took that particular subject. But when you're speaking of only, it would be the outer region there. All right, so we got our Venn diagram uh, partly, uh, well, mostly done. Uh, we have everything in the circles. But that doesn't account for everyone because uh, there were 100 students. So let's see if this amounts to 100. So if you were to count all of this, it does not count up to 100. Uh, it actually counts up to 80. Uh, so that would be the other people that are outside who didn't take any uh, the remainder of that. But anyway, let's go ahead and answer some of these questions. Is how, how many students took math and history but not English? So let's look at the two circle region of math and history. So this area here is math and history but not English. So that would be the five. Okay. How many students took math only? Okay, remember the outer regions are the only, so math only would be 20. And how many students took none of the three? Well, all of these students in the circles, they took at least one of the one or more. Uh, so that was 80 students, but we have 100 students in all. So that would mean there would be 20 students who did not take any of the three subjects and they would be outside uh, in the uh, universal set. So they're still in there, but they're just outside. 